Welcome back, welcome back on uh, the TMS show, which simply means the message special. Uh, I've been done this show for a very, very long time and I've been itching to do it. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, there were a lot of issues uh, that were affecting me not to do it. And uh, but that is simultaneously one thought, uh, what else to debate? Because I think uh, the rivalry has been closed. But uh, the past few days has been, uh, you know, pushing us to come in and defend. Um, I see the Inter Miami fans are there uh, defending, which is good. But in any case, we defend the indefensible because the facts are, are quite clear. Now, my name is the Sobri Boys Walifazi from TBR SSF show. This is the Messi special show. Now, we know that Messi has won now the eighth Ballon d'Or. Remember, I've been saying it over and over that he's going to win it. There was nothing uh, that could work against him. Uh, if you look at the facts, the facts were there for any, for everybody to see. The people who are against him winning are those haters, you know, haters and the penal fans. And then, uh, unfortunately, you know, um, as much as they step up the campaign, uh, you know, to ensure that he doesn't win, but it was quite obvious, you know, one of the things that makes you to believe that it was quite obvious, you are listening at the players themselves, uh, what they were saying, you know, because it was going to be a shock for him not to win, um, including the new kids on the block, whom they tried very hard to pick them against Messi, like Jude uh, Bellingham. Um, he said it, I'll show you, that, um, you know, from a long time, he has been a fan of Lionel Messi, and he believes Lionel Messi is the great, the greatest. And then, um, and everybody was um, sure that he would definitely win. And you know what was even uh, uh, surprising was the fact that uh, even the Man City players, you know, <laughs> the majority of Man City players who played with Erling Haaland, um, they were vocal that Messi should win this title. And then, uh, so I don't know what was happening. You know, the journalists tried very hard. There was uh, one journalist who asked uh, Pep Guardiola a funny question, to be honest. For me, it was a very funny question because I don't know what was he expecting from Pep. Uh, the question was very funny. He asked Pep, the Ballon d'Or, who do you think are you going to vote for, Messi or Erling Haaland? Very funny, and uh, uh, Guardiola laughed in a manner of scolding or uh, sarcastically, and then uh, correctly so. Because, I mean, what do you how do you ask such a question? Because, um, Lionel Messi is, um, I mean, uh, we know that Pep Guardiola has been a fan of Lionel Messi for many, many years, even today, you know. But not only that, I mean, to ask that question, uh, what do you expect? You expect uh, Guardiola to say Erling Haaland, because Erling Haaland has helped him to win the title, or do you expect him to say uh, Messi? But the way he answered it, that was brilliant. He said, according to him, two titles of uh, Man of the Man, or Ballon d'Or, or best player in the world, two of them should be there. One for Lionel Messi because he doesn't compete with anybody. One for the rest. He said Messi in his worst season is the best season for the rest of the players. Then he said he wished that Messi wins. He wished that uh, uh, Erling Haaland wins. I think even Erling Haaland, you know, even though he was vocal, deep down, he knew that Messi is going to win it. Because the nice part about the whole thing is that after that, said Messi deservedly deserved the award. Jude Bellingham just said, every time I watch Messi, he does something where I just think he can be human. He has a good mix of numbers, the watch factor, 
you watch Messi and think, how does he do that? All right. Even uh, Mbappe, whom I believe that uh, I don't think he, that's me. Okay, that's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. That um, deep down he wished that Messi won, but he said um, he will vote for Messi. I don't know, maybe it was doing that to spite uh, Erling Haaland. And then, uh, yeah, it also brings one of the critical questions that I'm asking myself, and I want you people out there to ask yourself, is it Ballon d'Or for Europeans, all right? Because the message that I get now, ah, Messi's gone, uh, Messi's going to play in America, no more, he's not going to win uh, the Ballon d'Or anymore. It brings sharply to us to make us realize that the Ballon d'Or is meant for the Europeans. Why we don't see African players in that tournament, in the Ballon d'Or? Why you don't see the Brazilian players who produce stars and stars year in, year out in that tournament, except those who play in Europe? Why you don't see the Asians uh, competing in that tournament, except we see the Asians? So it makes you think, um, in actual fact, uh, the Ballon d'Or, is it for Europeans or is it for, for all of us? And then, uh, you know, funny enough, the Penaldo, uh, Ronaldo, um, his sister um, responded, um, you know, on Instagram as they usually do. Ronaldo himself, and they, I like the way Messi responded when they asked him. Look how he how he responded in a very classy way, in a very messy way. He went to uh, he went to uh, what's this place? He went to America. And then they ask him his relationship with Mbappe. That was great, uh, you know. Although, if you ask me, I don't think Mbappe was uh, really making him play. For well, Messi not to score more goals in France, I still believe it was Mbappe's own making, including Neymar, to some degree. All right, they were both denying him to score. And then, although he showed them the other side of being generous all the time, I think David Beckham has done what should be done. And I don't know why these coaches never listen to Pep. Pep has always been saying, when you deal with Messi, don't say anything, don't tell him anything, allow him to play. When he walks, he reads the game. So it's not that he's walking. In the first five minutes, he won't touch the ball. He's reading the game. And he knows when he gets the ball, what's going to happen. So, and then uh, Pep said, show him love. And this is what the Barcelona uh, coaches, all of them, um, they should have done. They failed. Even at uh, PSG, they failed to do that. And David Beckham is showing him that he loves him. That is why you see he plays his heart out. Escolon shows that he loves him. He plays his heart out. And then now you hear Mascherano say, we are tempted to call him for the Olympics. And I wish he goes there and then he'll break another record again. All right. And then uh, we'll see. We'll watch the space. And then show him that you love him, which is what Barcelona failed to do. Then when they asked him, he said, Barcelona is the best team in the world uh, in history. He still loves Barcelona. He said, that's my team. And then I think they should be kicking themselves especially the leadership. But in terms of the fans, Messi, uh, he knows that the fans are supporting him and he knows that he still has to pay Barcelona for what they did for him. That's how special this guy is. Now, a journalist asked him, uh, you have won the eighth Ballon d'Or. You have three modern Cristiano Ronaldo. So is the competition over? Well, if that question was put to Ronaldo, you know, of course, he'd always say, I'm the best and all that as we normally hear you. Then he said, it was an epic competition between in brackets, all right? And then he puts it in brackets. And athletically, Christian was a very good, was very good, and I think we benefited from each other because we are both very competitive. He also always wants to win over everyone and everything. I think it was a beautiful period for us and for those who love football in general. What we have done all this time is very appreciable because as they say, it is easy to reach the top, but difficult to stay. We stayed at the top for 10, we stayed at the top for 10 to 15 years. I'm not sure how many years. It was very difficult. 
uh, it was very difficult to continue at this level i think it was a great thing and beautiful memory for everyone who enjoys football that's Lionel Messi in a classy way when he responds when he spoke about peers he said no nah, i had a very good time although we know that he didn't have a good time in um, in, in in at psg so you don't have to respond to some of issues now we know this is the messy start this is the messy way of responding if people criticize him he does his his job they said can win outside uh, barcelona all right but thereafter he went outside and he won three uh, trophies including the world cup all right you can't perform he can't you can't perform uh, in another club except barcelona he went to paris he won three trophies and then uh, so you can't say you are not convinced uh, then messi then showed them uh, levels by going to west team in mls and took them to the championship he won them a trophy so this guy is is, is a genius all right and then guys like this they come once uh, in our lifetime all right so yeah and then uh, so i don't understand people what are they complaining but let me tell you the facts are there if you look at the winners of the ballon d'Or since it started in 1958 all of them who won they were the world cup winners except in two instances where messi won i think in 2012 if i'm not mistaken uh no in 2010 when messi won without winning the world cup and again in 2014 when uh, cristiano ronaldo won against um, you know without winning um, you know the, the world cup but the majority of them world cup weighed heavily world cup it's the biggest tournament i don't know why people want to judge world cup as seven games it's not seven games it, it is played over a period of four years and if you look at the period of four years messi has been very very consistent so i should think that people should be start now uh, be be grateful and and start seeing that uh, you know you you cannot uh, um uh, try to hide behind greatness greatness will remain greatness uh, i think messi has done well for himself he has done exceptionally well not only for himself uh, for the teams that he played for so for me uh, i'm quite excited and then uh, i was looking forward to uh, to to this part and then uh, that is why uh, i definitely wanted to see how how is it, how is it going to pan out and then uh, thanks god finally he has been uh, you know uh, given uh, that trophy and I don't see, and I mark my words, I I think Messi, if they can be fair, they can be fair, he can win the nine ones. The ninth Ballon d'Or, that one, I, I think that that is possible. All right. And then, uh, yeah, so, so many people had had so many stories about that. And then, uh, but as I say, it brings sharply to the question, is Ballon d'Or meant for, uh, Europeans or is it for all of us? I don't know. So maybe uh, we'll get it as time goes on. Um, you know what? Messi should just chill and enjoy this uh, trophy. And he has, he has said it. He has done it all. He has completed football. He has won everything at club and the national level. And also on the personal level, with 44 trophies, the person who follows him is daniel Ves. so he has broken many records and guess what he'll still break many records and i still want to repeat ronaldo is a great player a very very good athletic athlete in fact ronaldo has done well i mean i don't see any player in this crop of generation reaching the status of ronaldo or the athleticism of ronaldo these players are a rare breed you know uh, but unfortunately, he falls short when it comes to Messi. Messi is way above him. All right. So uh, that's my Messi special. And then I see people, the, the haters, going on social media. I don't know what do they want to think. What do they want to change? Nothing's going to change. He has won it. 
Let me apologize with that slight glitch. I don't know what happened there, but um, I wanted to say thank you very much for being supportive. Continue to subscribe, continue to comment. Uh, I'll continue to have the message special, whether it prays in America or wherever, we we'll continue to do that. And then um, before I leave, I just want to remind you that we are a financial company. We currently we are busy with a campaign of assisting people who are GPF members or government employees. Uh, you know that they need to pension with GPF and then only at the age of 60, if they, if they retire earlier than that, there's penalties. So now a lot of people are complaining. They're tired, they want to leave, but they're afraid of losing that money. So uh, there is a way, which is a legal way that they can follow, uh, whereby they can uh, leave as long as they're 55 and above, leave without being penalized, not even a cent, and then um, transfer their money to, or their pension to Alan Gray, uh, which is my product supplier that I'm working with. And then uh, I'm running the company called the Big R Financial Services, which is an authorized financial service provider. So now, if you want to know more or you want us to help you how to do that, and then what you need to do at the end of the show, you'll see the, the WhatsApp number. Just drop us a WhatsApp. We'll call you back. Uh, it won't cost you a cent. We'll call you back and explain to you for free. Then you decide what to do. All right? It's your choice. Thank you so much once again. And then I appreciate it.